What are you eating? This is a story about a dog. Call her my boys. Oh. This is an Archie. We got an Archie 10 years ago. And he used to be such the cuddliest little cutest little puppy in the world. And then he got siblings. The problem being is that these ears can hear the sun come up. And worst of all, children's screams. That's when we lost our little cuddly bubby and every time there's a sign of trouble, he fucks off. Archie does not have a sanctuary in this house, not anymore. So let's fix that for him. So that's problem number one. Problem number two, my wife now works from home and the little design suite that I had set up for myself, I now have to share it. You know, I built like one chunk of it to hide like all like the papers and like the supplies and stuff like that. It turned out great. But the drafting table, it ain't cutting it. I don't know, I'm thinking about like doing like a modular thing where I can just kind of like Voltron like one giant desk together. Problem number three. Archie ain't the only one that's annoyed by the kids. just want to eat some cookies in peace. So we're going to build more of this desk and we're going to start, well, we're going to start with a sign, this sign. I don't know. So I'm going to make a frame for the door and then once I show you that, keep on making frames until you have a desk. Let's go. I can't finalize the blueprints until I make a door frame that fits this. Once all that's done, I can finalize the cabinet dimensions. So my kids did what kids do, grew up. I made this cute little dresser for her nursery when she first came home and it was just perfect. But then she got big, which means her clothes got big, which means the dresser just kept on getting smaller and smaller. Now nothing fits in there. So I'm gonna get it for parts. I mean, there's good wood in there, why not? Just know if you make stuff for your kids, they're gonna outgrow it eventually. I mean, look at the graveyard of cool shit that I've made in the past. I'll be making the sides of the desk the same way I actually made the door frame. Measure, cut, drill, screw, router. But this time I'll be adding a little bit of a rabbit to the back. Not that kind, this kind. It 
hides the plywood edges with a nice snug fit. Look, I suck at chisels, so I'll just round off the corners with a jigsaw. I'm just gonna make a drawer out of the pre-existing drawer from the dresser. So yeah, just take a good chunk of it off. It's gonna look a little janky, but I mean, it's punk rock. No. Yeah, no. Yes. Now let's tackle the confidential cookie containment enclosure.
Making stuff is kind of like my meditation. Just like at any given moment, my brain is just like scrambling with all kinds of stuff, whether it be ideas, you know, dreams, person, fantasies, a, a how to nephew, be a husband, a niece, a, a son, an artist, sex, bills, drugs, rock and roll, just fail. All that stuff disappears when I'm just focused on getting this thing I'm making just right. With that much clarity, sometimes you get that beautiful little epiphany that kind of sneaks in. Maybe it's not that important to build stuff for your kids knowing that they're gonna outgrow it. I mean, I'm still gonna do it, that's how I show love. But maybe it's more important that you build stuff with your kids. Maybe the memories will stick around longer than the thing you built. Maybe. You've probably noticed in my other videos that I constantly have my nails painted. My daughter thinks that she's making dad pretty, but I've actually been teaching her how to sign paint. <laughs> Let's see what you got, baby girl. I love these little speakers, but I mean, they were cheap, but they also feel cheap. They kind of look cheap. I think it's just the amount of plastic. It's too much plastic.
Did you know you can make your own Bluetooth stereo system? For less than 50 bucks, you can get all the electronic components to make a Bluetooth speaker. You just gotta build the box around it. Check out this one I did a couple years ago. Now, before we get started, I'm dead serious. My dad was a union electrician, which means I kind of know what I'm doing. My training was holding the flashlight and getting yelled at, but I learned some stuff. So tell you what, if this makes sense to you, knock yourself out. If it doesn't, call someone that understands that. But that's how I did it. Hey Mikey! 